What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video and in today's video guys we are talking about tips and tricks for the upcoming NYC Go Fest event. Do remember guys this Go Fest is completely different than the Osaka and London Go Fest. What all is different about this one? Well all of the featured spawns except the unknowns and the Pikachu are different. And just like Osaka in London, NYC is, is getting its own two new shiny Pokemon releases as well. And of course, NYC is still featuring Diancie, Mega Diancie, and Mega Rayquaza as well. So that is the same. But in terms of spawns for NYC compared to Osaka in London, yeah, the spawns are completely different, guys. So before we get into everything that's featured and what you guys should be doing if you do have a ticket for the NYC Go Fest, do remember the NYC Go Fest is taking place this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Randall's Island Park in New York City, guys. Now, if you want to see what this park does look like, I can give you guys a first look at the park right now. So this is what the park does look like. So if you're not in a park that looks like this in New York City, uh, you're at the wrong park. All right, so there's a bunch of water near this park. At the moment, there's no Pokestops, of course, because you will need a ticket to see the special featured Pokestops at this park. So once I, of course, come back here tomorrow when my ticket is active, yes, I will have tons of Pokestops and tons of spawns at this park location. So yeah, make sure the park that you guys are going to, or if you're at it right now, looks like this. This is Randall's Island Park, so keep that in mind. So now let's talk about the features of the event and what you guys should do to take advantage of these features too. So again, I talked about it already. Mega Diancie, Diancie, and Rayquaza. The Mega Rayquaza are featured. So if you guys want to catch Diancie, make sure that you are playing in the park. If you want to catch Diancie as quickly as possible, you want to do the park special research, which is pretty easy stuff. It's like taking snapshots at specific habitats and spinning Pokestops at specific habitats as well. Also, here is a good map of the park too. This map does show you guys exactly where each habitat will be. So keep that into consideration when you guys hit page two of the special research for Diancie, the park research, because you will have to go to these habitats in order to complete the Diancie research. But again, it's easy stuff. Take snapshots, spend Pokestops, easy stuff. So if you want to catch Diancie as quickly as possible, go to the park, get it done. Those tasks are not that hard. In terms of the Rayquaza research, you can do that all in the city. The Rayquaza is mainly like doing raids, catching Pokemon, spending Pokestops, stuff like that. The Rayquaza stuff is also pretty dang easy. So if you wanna get some free energy for the Mega Rayquaza, you guys can do that in the city area. It is best to go to the city for that research. And do remember too, if you wanna get extra energy for Mega Diancie, you can do field research tasks for it and also you get some energy from the special research too uh, when you guys do catch the Diancie as well. Now guys, again, let's focus on the spawns. What are the best spawns to focus on during your GoFest experience this weekend in New York City? Well, first things first, the first habitat, Prehistoric Volcano. What should you be focusing on in this habitat? Well, do remember, Kangaskhan is a regional Pokemon, so you may need this, or you may need it for trades for somebody on your friends list. Keep that in mind. This Aerodactyl is a brand new costume shiny. This will be rare for at least a year. This will not get re-released until maybe Global Go Fest next year, so this is for sure on the top of your list. Um, in terms of other Pokemon on here, I would say Archon. Uh, it is a pretty rare shiny. Some people did get it from the Adventure Week last month, uh, but this is still a rel relatively rare shiny. Also, the Tyrant just came out as a shiny last month, so you guys might be missing this, or again, would be good for a shiny trade. Somebody would love a shiny Tyrant for a trade. And also, Heatmore is another regional Pokemon, so you may be missing this shiny Pokemon too. Now, on to the next uh, habitat. This habitat is good because it does feature Shiny Screlp. This is a brand new Shiny. Also, this is the first time ever that Pontiard will be a wild spawn. 
not just an instant spawn or whatever, a wild spawn. So you definitely want to go for this. This is a pretty rare shiny. Only way to get this outside of GoFest is by hatching it in a 12k. So obviously pretty dang rare. Also, Saviper is a regional Pokemon too, so you guys might be missing that. Now onto the Cursed Treasures Habitat. What should you guys be looking for in this one? Uh, well, do remember, Gullet is also a brand new shiny for NYC. It's the second and last brand new shiny featured for the NYC Go Fest. Uh, so that's up there. Durant is also a regional Pokemon, so you guys might be missing that one too. Clink never spawns. Um, besides Go Fest events, so this is a, also a pretty rare shiny Pokemon to go after. Yam Mask is also pretty rare too. This you only see during Halloween events, so you guys might be missing that shiny too. And in terms of the athletic field uh, habitat, you know the Hitmons are there. These are awesome looking shinies. So if you guys love shiny colors, these are these are awesome shinies. But Zangoose is a regional Pokemon, so you guys might be missing that. Lucario, this is the first time ever you guys can get a wild Lucario shiny. Uh, so that is of course at the top of the list. And Throw is also a regional Pokemon, so you guys might be missing that. So you might want to focus on that too. And of course, unknowns. Shiny unknowns, these don't get released very often, only for like Safari Zones and GoFest events. Uh, exclamation point is by far the number one shiny to go for. This will be extremely rare once GoFest is over, so you definitely want to go for that. And you also might want to go for the Pikachu too. Uh, if you guys want to get good spawns of Pikachu, Pikachu does spawn more in the park. So when you guys play the park experience on your ticket, whether that's in the morning or afternoon, uh, you do want to focus on this Pikachu because spawns of Pikachu in the city are pretty low in my opinion. And do remember, you guys can play in the city at any time during the Go Fest hours, but the park you can only play during the time frame that you picked, either the morning or afternoon. So make sure you guys look at your ticket and see what you guys picked, either morning or afternoon. Now, there are collection challenges for GoFest 2. There are special photo bombs. I have a whole video about this on my channel. It does give you a brand new form of Rotom, the Frost form Rotom. You guys can check out that video on my channel. There will be special research too. You can get some Carbink Pokemon encounters from the field research. Uh, and also, you should get some energy for Mega Diancy. There's field research for Lucario at the habitat for Lucario. So yeah, lots of good uh, field research tasks featured too. Do remember as well, guys, not only will Mega Rayquaza be in raids for the entire weekend and NYC. Also, Cresselia, Xerneas, and Yveltal will be in some five-star raids as well. And lastly, guys, let's talk about the exclusive bonuses for NYC GoFest players. So, half hatch distance for eggs placed in incubators. Up to six special trades can be made during the day of your ticket, no matter where you are in New York City. So keep that in mind. Get those special trades done if you guys want to. Reduced Stardust cost for trades as well, another good bonus. And on the day of your ticket, you will get nine free raid passes. The orange free daily passes you will receive from spinning uh, gems. Also, two times catch candy, 1.5 times hatch stardust, 1.5 times hatch candy. So hatching is good, but the hatching pool is not that great for a go fest in my opinion. Uh, the hatching pool is relatively about the same, so it's not that great in my opinion. Also, two times friendship bonus damage and raids. So if you will be hatching a lot during the event, if you guys want to, if you have a lot of incubators, then yeah, I would recommend popping some star pieces as you guys are hatching eggs during the go fest. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the tips I have for you today in terms of the NYC go fest. Do remember if, we, if you guys want to catch Diancy as quickly as possible, get that research done in the park. Uh, do not wait until afterwards because yeah, some of the research on page two does require you to be in the park uh, because you do have to take snapshots at the specific habitats and also spend Pokestops at those habitats as well. Get that energy for the Mega Diancy because the Mega Diancy is a pretty good uh, Pokemon in the game. Use those nine free passes, guys, on Mega Rayquaza. You definitely want to get some Mega Energy for Rayquaza. It is one of the best Mega Evolutions in the entire game right now. 
And yeah, of course, focus on those spawns that I mentioned. And lastly, of course, guys, have fun. It's going to be great. The shiny rate is very, very awesome. Uh, for London, I got 140 shinies. So I'm going to try to get like around that same number for NYC Go Fest. So yeah, it should be quite a time. So yeah, let me know in the comment section, guys. Will you be playing the NYC Go Fest this weekend? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful or informative in any way, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.